How's it going guys? Cryptic Cat here and welcome back to our second Pokemon Go Pokemon card opening video and today we're going to be opening up the ETB which in my opinion is probably the coolest product of the whole bunch that are coming out because this one comes with some pretty nice things and it's a very nice design. I really like the shade of, the shade of blues they used on this and I'm hoping the sleeves are somewhat relatively the same. This player guide, and I'm pretty sure the cards from the set should be on here. Yep, we, we got the checklist of all the Pokemon. You can see there, there's a Radiant Charizard we're trying to get, the Blastoise, and the Venusaur. They're all on this first page. Uh, we did pull the Dragonite V and the Melmetal V Max, so those are pretty good. Um, two pretty good pulls for, for one box, I guess, but uh. Yeah, you know, as you can see, there's a crap ton of cards for a small subset to get. Uh, so, yeah, it's gonna be... Although the set is not that big, because there's so many secret rares, I'm sure it's gonna be an expensive set to complete, if that's what you guys are interested in. Um, so what we have in this, we have your standard energy cards. The uh, sleeves, which I'm a huge fan of. I do really like the sleeves. The blue and the silver Mewtwo in the middle. Uh, we got the cold card. We got the Mewtwo, the full art promo card. Open this up so you can show you guys a little better. Very nice, very nice. Some pretty nice full art. Mewtwo, we got our dice and markers, more damage counters, your ETB dividers, and what I think are 10 booster packs. So uh, we get 10 booster packs in this in this ETB. Um, I think with subsets it, it works that way. You get 10 instead of 8, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can get one of the radiants, as uh, that was our goal in the last video. But one of the three ra radiants at least. Hopefully more. I guess we'll see. We went long a long way in the other the other box without getting anything so I was getting kind of worried I think we were like seven packs deep until we got our first good pull got a camera holographic and a Articuno and we reverse holographic not holographic we did get an Articuno holographic so it's pretty nice on with our second pack we got a code card one, two, three, four. That's our first marker. V Star Marker, Camera, Steelix, Candela, Bulbasaur, Nomo, Radicate, Tranquil, Larvitar, Meltan, and a Executor V. A little Executor V. Very nice. So first first pull. I think we're two packs deep, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um it's really hard to get excited for anything. I just really want those freaking uh, uh, radiants so bad. Damn. Last race is my favorite starter, so that's the one I'm mainly aiming for. Hopefully I can pull it. Whoa, what is with these cards? They're damaged. The centering's off too. We got Larry Module, Eridos, Lake, Incubator, Onyx, Slowpoke, uh, Beedoof. Magikarp and they bring in Blastoise. What, did, what was I just telling you guys? That is awesome. We got my favorite Radiant in this pack and a nice a, a holographic Snorlax. But that is super cool. Gotta see this up right away. Very, very nice. Very nice. Centering is actually really good on this one, I think. Not too much for my new details, but uh, Thank you for waiting. that is awesome. That is awesome. Very awesome. Already worth the box. 
already already really happy with the box three pulls if you count the uh the promo um damn okay so uh first radiant and we still have plenty of packs to go so there's still a good chance we can pull another one or like something just as good like a secret rare or something a rainbow or a gold card Mewtwo, any Mewtwo variant would be nice actually, or V-Star in general, I'm a huge fan of V-Stars, they remind me a lot of the uh, the level Lexus from back in the day, like uh, in the Diamond and Pearl uh, set, uh, series, Gyarados Holographic, yeah the level Lexus are my favorite type of ultra rare variant, mainly because it had my favorite Pokemon, and they haven't made it ever since, the Magmortar Level X. Ever since that Level X era, he's never gotten an Ultra Rare variant, which is pretty disappointing. Considering him and Electivire are pretty popular. So, well at least Ele I know Electivire is pretty popular, so I was hoping that would carry Magmortar into, into the spotlight with him. But uh, no, they haven't done anything with them. It's a little disappointing. Um, Bulbasaur, Raticates, and a nice Venusaur holographic. That is our first starter holographic that we get. Would have been better to get the Radiance, but can't be too picky. Already got the Blast Voice. The beautiful, beautiful Blast Voice. We got here Code Card. To the front, and we got a dark energy, rare candy, slow bro, or yeah, slow bro, Lunatone, Fidoof, Wimpod, Dove, Magikarp, Meltan, a nice Charizard reverse holographic, very nice, and a Pikachu holographic. It's an interesting pack. I uh, haven't gotten a Pikachu yet, and, uh, pretty sure the uh. In those sets where holographics are guaranteed, the reverse holographic could be more rare. So I guess that would make sense because any card has a chance of being pulled as a reverse holographic, whereas uh, only a limited amount of cards are, have a chance of being pulled in the rare slot. I don't know if that made any sense. I'm just, I'm just, gonna just, I'm just that made any sense. I'm just. Uh, Blabbling on. What? Two chances in a row? Very nice. Came up to Magikarp, Meltan, Eevee, Pikachu, Squirtle, a reverse hollow B barrel, and a holographic Charizard. Very nice. So now we got both of them, regardless of which one's more popular or rare. Harder to get. We got both. Uh, now all we need is the Radiant Charizard. And we got all the Charizards. Is that a sign? We still got three packs to go. The code card, one, two, three, four. We got a Fighting Energy, Rare Candy, Slowbro, Lunatone, Slowpoke, Bidoof, Magikarp, Apom, Meltan, a Reverse Holographic Steelix, and a Hollow Melmetal. Pull something nice, guys. Pull something nice. Give me something good. Just give me a gold V star. That's all I'm asking for. It's not too much. All right. <laughs> okay, we got here a fire energy, Charmeleon, Wartoro, Apom, Meltan, Squirtle, Tranquil, Charmander, Squirtle, and a Golosphere. Sad. A little sad that it's our last pack, but uh, you know, we did get that Blastoise Radiant, so I can't be too upset. Alright, so we got here a Lightning Energy, Blanche, Erdos, Egg Incubator, Bidoof, Onyx, B Burl, Melton, Magikarp. A reverse hollow gala speed, so unfortunately no radiant. 
and another Dragon Knight Full Art. So for, for those of you who don't know, we actually did pull a Dragon Knight Full Art in the last set. I mean, in the last box we did, the Radiant EV Premium Collection. And we just got another one, which is pretty cool actually, considering that the other one I pulled was terrible, terrible centering. Actually, I might have it here in this deck of cards, in this pile of cards. Uh, uh, here it is. So as you guys can see, the one we pulled yesterday has absolutely horrifying centering. The right side is a lot thinner than the left side. And then we got a more normal, the centering is still not perfect, but uh, more no more normal looking centering. So uh, that's pretty cool. Two Dragonite Full Arts. Not too bad, not too shabby. Um, but yeah, that was our last pack. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.